Hello friends, uh, greetings from Rome. We are exploring uh, Rome, walking around here uh, and we just uh, visited one of the major basilicas of Rome. It's called uh, Maria Maggiore. Let me show you. So, we just came from this church. It's one of the major churches of Rome. It's called uh, Basilica of St. Mary Maggiore. What is special about this church? Here uh, they keep the relics of uh, Apostle Matthew. You know, Jesus Christ had uh, 12 apostles. And the relics of one of the apostles, uh, St. Matthew, uh, are kept here. Along with the relics of several saints. Uh, namely, St. Hieronymus of Stridon. Uh, he is also kept in this basilica. It's a very big basilica. And here you also find the miraculous uh, icon of Virgin Mary, uh, called the uh, protectress of uh, the Roman people. You see, it's all kept here. We, we went here to pray. Uh, and there is one more thing here. And those, this is the crib of Jesus Christ from Bethlehem. You see, Jesus Christ was born in the crib. And this crib, wooden crib, in which he was born, is kept here in this basilica. It's another um, sacred uh, object that is uh, preserved in this church. It was very interesting to see it. And here you see the obelisk with Virgin Mary. We are visiting all the major basilicas of Rome, it's quite unusual. Some people go to see uh, museums and things like this. I'm mainly interested in the basilicas. This is one of the most ancient churches of Rome. And there is another basilica here. It's our next uh, destination, which opens at, uh, uh, at 3 o'clock. That's why I wait here for some time. Uh, until it opens in 10 minutes in 10 minutes it will open and I still have to read about this basilica I have a book uh, uh, with um, information about all the churches of Rome and all the centuries and what is kept there a guide I use that book and I we drive uh, scooters in between the churches uh, they explained this also to Nina. Of course, we will go to see Coliseum and the uh, Roman Forum, as of course, and we also went to see the Fountain of Travi, like the basic attractions, touristic attractions of ancient Rome. Uh, that's our plan. We also ate in the restaurant yesterday. Rome is a spectacular city. There's lots of things to see. I believe one week is not enough. There's so many um, things to see. This is the church I plan to visit now. It opens at um, 3 o'clock. It's called Basilica of uh, Prasiria, early Christian martyr. I think she was an early Christian martyr. Actually, we can read about this maybe here. Uh, ah, here it says, Basilica was entrusted to the Volumbrosian monks by Pope Innocent III Saint Cyril and Methodius resided here, and Saint Charles Bor Borromeo and uh, Robert Bellarmine was assigned this as their titular church as cardinals. Anyway, I have more detailed book uh, in which I will read. Uh... Ah, here is this, um, this uh, rock, you see this pillar. I think uh, this is a uh, pillar to which uh, Jesus Christ was bound uh, before he was crucified. If I'm not mistaken, Colonna della Flagellazione. This is another object from Jerusalem. They brought many sacred objects from Jerusalem to Rome. I think at least eight of the apostles are uh, being buried in Rome, relics of eight. 
or I'm not sure exactly how many, but quite many apostles uh, rest here in Rome. And as a Christian, I also believe they will resurrect from Rome here on the Judgment Day, so it will be quite a spectacular event in the end of the days. You may, you may think I'm crazy, but I do believe in the resurrection of the dead um, in the second judgment day. And so, this is uh, the church I'm waiting to enter now. Basilica di Prasede. And here is Nina. She is talking on the phone. And... and I wish you all the best. Greetings from Rome. We keep exploring the Eternal City. Uh, so here you find the column from Jerusalem, which was moved to Rome. You see the column of the flagellation of Jesus Christ. It's kept here in Rome, and here you see it. You see. Here is another basilica of uh, St. Put and Pudenciana. You see, Apostle Peter had a disciple follower in Rome. His name was Put. Put uh, had a, a son called Novatus and two daughters, Pudenciana and Praxida. And it was here that uh, Apostle Peter was coming to the house of Put. I don't know, Purus maybe his name was, Pud or Purus. And here uh, it was a home church of the first Christians in Rome. They had been uh, congregating here. It was a pastoral church of the first Christians in Rome. And here you find the relics of St. Pud and his son Novatus. That means the parts of their bodies, the relics, are kept here. You see, and they are kept right here. You see, right here you find the relics of Purus or Put and his son Novatus and daughter Pudenciana. It's a very holy place, and their house where they live it. It was here on the ground. There is some entry, entry here to their house on the ground. It's closed right now. That's where they live it, and that's where Peter was coming and had, had stayed very often. One, the church of the first Christians in Rome, you can say that. So, lots of Filipino people around. You see, Filipino people are Catholics. And my guess is they have some some service, some celebration or event here in this church today. Or maybe it's a church of Filipino people. So you see many, many Filipino images. But in any case, at any case, this is a church of the first Christians uh, in Rome. We keep exploring this city. Uh, in another basilica, uh, of St. Peter, St. Peter's chains. Here you find the chains in which uh, St. Peter uh, was put uh, into in Jerusalem and then here in Rome. Those chains are being kept here. They're right here, you see? Those are the chains, the real chains of uh, St. Peter. And uh, below, in the crypt, there, uh, you find the relics of uh, Maccabees brothers uh, from the Old Testament. Maccabees, if you know uh, the Maccabees, those were uh, brothers, the martyrs, Hebrew brothers, who suffered 
for refusing to eat um, pork, for refusing to violate the laws of uh, God. In the Old Testament, it was prohibited to the Hebrews to eat pork. However, this law uh, was not uh, was basically abolished it for the pagans, pagans, uh, pagan Christians, uh, Christians uh, from the pagans they do eat pork. But for the Hebrews, in the Old Testament, it was prohibited and still is uh, prohibited for the Hebrews, those who observe the law, because many commandments, Old Testament commandments had been abolished for the Christians. You know, if you read the New Testament, uh, they advise it uh, at least to abstain from blood and from fornication and not to put the heavy load of the laws upon the Christians, the new, the new, uh, the new converts uh, of Jesus Christ. That was prescribed the, by the Apostolic Council first apostles so but uh, for the Hebrews in the Old Testament they had to follow all the 615 laws prescribed by them by the Old Testament however it changed in the New Testament for pagan Christians uh, new laws are being applied but in the Old Testament it was a different case is Coliseum, but unfortunately it's closed because they have some meeting here. It will open tomorrow. See really many young people here. We are using those uh, scooters to move around the city. You see, you pay six euro. And you can use it for a whole day, you know. It's very convenient. Only six euro. 24 hours. Okay. So... Okay, we keep driving. <laughs>